Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be comparing the guide dog to the cane. Which one do I prefer using and which one do I think is better? First, let's start with the cane. This is something that the majority of blind or low vision people use to navigate the world around them in a tactile way. Now, whether you are a tactile person or an auditory person will depend on whether you prefer a cane to a guide dog. If you are someone who is a tactile person, you will prefer the cane to the guide dog. But if you are auditory, you will prefer the guide dog to the cane. So it just kind of depends on what kind of style you prefer to use, whether you're someone who likes to feel the world around you or you like to hear the world around you in order to know where you are. This is the standard cane. It's probably the most recognizable, the red and white, and you can get custom ones built, but I just have this one with the regular ball tip. You can get different ball tips depending on what terrain you're walking on. If you're someone who's walking a lot on gravel or sand or grass or something like that, in comparison to concreted sidewalks, then you may need a different ball tip, but I just have the regular one. These are really great because they're super compactable. As you can see, this just folds up so nicely and I can just take it with me no matter where I am which is something that you can't do with a guide dog. So with the cane, you can just simply compact it like this and walk off with it and then unfold it when you need it. And they're super easy to unfold as well. You just simply go like that and they actually unfold themselves, which I think is so cool. As you can see, it just clicked together. Now mine is a pretty standard height for my height. It comes up to my chest. Now, depending on how tall you are, will depend on how tall your cane is. Basically, how these canes work are pretty simple, really. You just be a tactile person and you just sort of feel your way around the world. If you bang into different things like garbage bins or you bang into people or those nasty sidewalks where you end up stomaching yourself, when you are feeling your way around the world, if you do accidentally bang into something like a garbage bin or a person, you simply just feel where you are and then step around that obstacle and you're good to go. And then once you've got to your location that you want to be at and you get to a table or something like that, you just simply fold it up nice and easy. and then you're good to go. You can just put it on the seat beside you or whatever, and then you can just continue on with your day like that. Nice and easy and super compactable. You just put it on the seat next to you or you just put it in your bag and you're good to go. Next, let's talk about guide dogs. Now, guide dogs are great for people who are auditory, who kind of listen to the world around them to figure out where they are. Guide dogs will help you so much when it comes to that. But like I said before, if you are tactile, you may prefer a cane because you can feel your way around the world. So when it comes to guide dogs, you have to be auditory. Now, in order to get a guide dog, there are a few different factors that play into this. For example, you do have to be the correct age. Now, depending on what country and what school you go to get your guide dog from, you may be able to have it while you're still in school at anywhere between 13 to 15 years old, depending on the school. Otherwise, you might have to wait till you're out of school or over 18 to get a guide dog. Again, this just depends on what school you get your guide dog from, what their rules are, and things like that. Typically, depending on the school that you get your guide dog from, as well as how long it takes that dog to learn what it needs to learn in order to become a guide dog, you could get your dog when it's only one, you could get it when it's one and a half, or two or two and a half, just depending on how long it takes that dog to learn the skills that it needs to learn. A guide dog's typical work life expectancy is between five to seven years. Depending on how chaotic your lifestyle is may depend on how long it can work for. Sometimes it may only work for five years. Sometimes you may be able to bump it up to nine years. It just depends on how chaotic your lifestyle is. So keep that in mind as well. In order to even be qualified to get a guide dog, you have to have done O&M training and to have used a cane 
for a number of years. Now, depending on which school you get your guide dog from and depending on the country and all of its rules, you may be able to get a guide dog while you're still in school, but typically you have to be over 18 with most guide dog schools. Also, they will pre-match you with a guide dog. Now, some schools will allow you to go there and train with a bunch of dogs and choose the one that you think works best with you, but typically you do get pre-matched with a dog that they select based on your personality and based on how fast you walk and different things like that. So me, I was lucky enough to get a guide dog when I was 18 and I had her for over two years nearly three years and she got retired early. So getting back to the main question of the video, which one do I prefer, either a guide dog or a cane? Honestly, both. Because I have both a physical disability as well as a visual disability, this means that because I have no lower vision, meaning that I cannot see below me, I need to always look down at the ground to make sure that I don't bang into anything. I also have cerebral palsy, which is why I often walk quite slowly anyway. I really need to use either a guide dog or a cane because otherwise I have to walk really slowly to be able to see what's on the ground so I don't bang into something and if I have a guide dog or a cane I can finally be more invested in people's conversations and finally look at the world around me so that's why I use a cane or a guide dog so that I can both look at the world around me and also get to where I need to go a lot faster. When it comes to which one is better, either a guide dog or a cane, again, that depends on whether or not you are an auditory or a tactile person. Which one works best for you? If guide dogs work best for you because you are auditory, then great. If a cane works better for you because you're tactile, also great. It just depends on who you are and what you need in order to navigate the world around you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, then don't forget to give it a like, share this video with your friends if you'd like to, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every time I upload new videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!